Peace. This is Wise Wise Words Media. And man, I, I can't believe tonight already we're in week six. Week six of the NFL season. Can't believe how fast time flies, man. Nothing will show you how fast time flies more than football. For one minute is open is kickoff, first day, first week. Then next thing you know, it's already week six. It's crazy. But in any event, we've gone over a month. We've completed a whole month, month and a half, month and change at this point of football. And it's already a discussion now that we're a quarter through the season. Who is the front runners or the early candidate for MVP. And for me, I got to say, my candidate for MVP in the NFL season this year has got to be Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is not only a candidate for MVP, but for me, Saquon Barkley is also going to be a candidate for comeback player of the year. I think that's his. His He's running away with that already. Barring any injuries, if he completes the season, it's his. However, he's got to get more than that. I give him the early season MVP because when you look at the word, or when you look at that title, MVP, you look at the word valuable, and valuable is just a word that describes the impact that that person provides for that team. And if you take that person out of that team, does that team even somewhat resemble what they are? You know, and Barkley this year has done it all. He's done it all for the New York Giants. Saquon Barkley is playing running back. He's playing wide receiver. He's even lining up, taking direct snaps at quarterback. Saquon Barkley has done everything imaginable that an offensive player can do for their team. And because of that, coupled with the fact that the Giants are 4-1. and one. Last year, the Giants didn't get their third win until like January. And they're already 4-1. and one. They're one of the teams competing for the division crown in the NFC East. These things, due to the, of course, the, the brilliant coaching of the Giants' new hired coaching staff, but the guy that's on the field making the most impact, the guy that teams are preparing for, and he's still, no matter how much preparation you're having, and no matter what kind of game script and schemes you're throwing at him, he's still, still unguardable. You, you still can't contain him, and he's still having the amount of success that is propelling his team to higher heights than last year, higher heights than the year before, and you can actually see that this team is completely different than what they were before, and credit again goes to the coaching staff, but the guy on the field that's doing it is Saquon Barkley. Nobody, the Giants have nobody at the skill position players. Nobody. They're playing nothing but practice squad guys as wide receivers and tight ends. These are guys that nobody heard of any of these guys last year. Last year, these guys were nowhere around the league. And here they are. They are the first string wide receivers and tight ends. And we are winning with them. Even with Daniel Jones at quarterback, who Daniel Jones, even, even if you don't believe that he is the future quarterback of the Giants, what you have to give that man is respect. You have to respect him. He 
He plays hard. There's nothing soft about him. He's tough. He's tough physically, tough mentally. And he's getting better. He's getting better. But still, it's debatable whether he'll be the answer at quarterback or not. So even with that said, we don't even have a top-tier quarterback. And we don't even know if he's going to be the quarterback of the future. But still, this team sits at 4-1 and one in the division. So... Yeah, definitely it's all been because of Saquon Barkley, the impact that he's brought. You know, this was a major year for Saquon because a lot of people wrote him off, but he didn't write himself off. So that's my early season candidate for MVP. And I continue to, I look forward to continue seeing more progress and more success for Saquon because if anybody deserves it, it's him. He's a humble dude. You know, stays out, stays out of trouble, stays out the limelight, and he's all about business. You know, and he suffered some huge set, setbacks through injuries, and even people in, the, in, in old media they ridiculed him, and they said, "Oh, the Giants wasted a pick taking him as the second, be, uh, at the second overall in the draft." And he's heard all of that stuff. He heard all of the rumblings. He's heard all of that, and. Nothing fueled him more than hearing all of that. And he's out to prove everybody wrong. That's why that first game, when he exploded against the Titans, he was very emotional after that. And rightfully so, man, because a lot of people wrote him off. A lot of people said negative stuff about him. But he's here. Healthy, which is credit to his offseason regimen. And he's having an MVP caliber season this year so far amongst the league's leaders in rushing and um, running back receptions and he has been the only offensive bright spot that the Giants have so due to the early success of the Giants and Saquon's unbelievable sing, uh, performance stats I give Saquon Barkley my nod as the early season MVP. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.